creating dashboards in Microsoft Azure. In Azure portal, we can create some dashboards where we can see things such as or um, monitor our environment uh, in an easy way. And we can mix a couple of, of different um, elements from different um, places such as virtual machines, resource groups, um, websites, etc. Uh, inside the Azure portal. So in order to create a new dashboard, we click here this new dashboard and we will create something like that. We put the title and here we can uh, get some default um, default elements. Let's, let's see. Let's see if we can. We want to put the hour there. So we tell it if it's in 12 hour format or 24 hour format. Uh, we select our um, time zone. Uh, you click down. If you're already done customizing, you click here this um, done customizing button and you see that. If you want to edit it, you do edit dashboard and you keep adding things on it. So let's see if we want to monitor the service health. We have a direct access to the service health from that dashboard and we can see it here. Okay, we continue editing. We'll see that here we have like ARM data. We have links to tutorials. We have um, a link for my subscriptions, our subscriptions. So we see them there. Now you see that here it's it is um, really. Um, small so here this context menu we can click because we can click it and we can select customize and customize we can uh, select another view of course this make us or this forces the view to change so we do something like this and that's better now I for this demo, I don't really care about the service health, so I will just delete it by clicking on the X. And that's a little bit better. Okay. Also, what we can do is we can go, for example, to one of our resources, let's say um, subscriptions. And we can go, let's see, this is one of my main subscriptions. And you can see that here, I have this breakdown of current cost. If you click in here on this pin, this will pin this chart in the um, in the dashboard. This is for the description, so spin it and you say here it has pinned or pinned to the dashboard and let's pin this one too and this will pin it to the dashboard that had been selected before if you click on microsoft azure it will take us to the um to the dashboard and you will see that um Here we have the costs by resource, and here you will see the subscription name. And here you will see um, how much uh, dollars you have spent or has are going to be charged and this is a forecast um, like how much it will cost in total when you are charged okay so this is basically the current uh, 
the current usage, and this is the forecast uh, for the total usage. Okay. Uh, if we go again to, well, no, let's say we go, for example, to resource groups. Let's see, we have here, I don't know, this one. can click right click next to it and we can click pin to dashboard and when we do that we will be able to see this resource group here with all the um, resources that are inside that resource group so if we had another one has maybe a little bit more links on it like this one we will see it here and we have direct access to each of the uh, resources that are in here also see that in this chart we can uh, we can check like what's what if you see this yellow is this uh, STHBM developer this is for something named BMFS this one is for something named IPBM developer one and this one is for other and if you click on the numbers it will take you to the cost um, cost by service and it will give you uh, detail and the cost per uh, resource. So let's do an easy um, or a useful um, dashboard for cost analysis. Okay, so I'll remove the R and here I'll go to um, descriptions I'll add this and all this then I will add this one and I will add this one and I will add this one and this one okay then I can add this one which is uh, recent billing history And I can add this one and this one. Now, if I hit here, we can see that here I have these ones, which are for the same subscription. This one is another subscription. So I added it below this one. This one is the same for the second row. And I'll put it there. Okay. Keep editing. Take this. Move this one a little bit more too. And there is the other one, which is actually there too. Right here. I'll just move them a little bit. Let me 
me see if there is something else around there. Yeah, there is one more. So we'll keep move them, moving them. Until we can accommodate them. Okay. So I'll put this one here. Put this one here. And this one I'll put it temporarily here. Or these ones, okay. I put this one here. I put this one here, and I will put this one here. Okay, and that's it. So we can see that here I have the. Uh, the cost by resource and the pull rate for one of my subscriptions. Here I have the same information, but for other of my subscriptions. And here I have the same for other of my subscriptions. Here I can do a quick inspection on the billing history. And here I can see my subscriptions. And here I can see the other subscriptions that I have access, access to. And in this one, I can see how much I was built um, the latest time I was built on this specific subscription. So this is a quick way to create um, cost monitoring uh, dashboards in Azure portal and it's really useful. Also you can click here and you can see more details on it. You can s select also chart or grid. Thank you very much for uh, viewing the video, watching the video, and please share it and like it. See you next time.